Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A, B, C, and D are real numbers, where B and D are non-zero. Then A over B times C over D is equal to AC over BD. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. We're going to be using axioms 1 and 2, which are just the commutative and associative laws. Now, as for our definition of division, to see how our definition of division works, let's first remind ourselves of axiom 7. For all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that satisfies the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. And using axiom 7, our definition of division is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers where b is not equal to 0. We define a over b to be a times the reciprocal of b. Right? This makes sense. Because, since b is not equal to 0, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of b. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to be using the following result, which we have proven. Suppose a and b are non-zero real numbers. Then the reciprocal of a, b is equal to the reciprocal of a times the reciprocal of b. Now, if you recall, the way we were able to make sense out of this statement was, since a is non-zero, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a. Since b is non-zero, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of b. But how come we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a, b? Well, since a and b are non-zero, we have proven that the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. So a, b is a non-zero real number, so we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a, b. So yeah, that's how we were able to make sense out of this statement. Likewise, we can make sense out of this statement, because since a and b are real numbers where b is not equal to zero, by definition of division, we can make sense out of a over b. Since c and d are real numbers such that d is non-zero, we can make sense out of c over d. And we can also make sense out of ac over bd, because certainly ac and bd are real numbers, and bd is non-zero since b and d are non-zero, and the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. Okay, so we can make sense out of this statement, so now let's try to prove it. And to prove this, we are going to establish a chain of equalities showing that these guys are equal. And we are going to establish that chain of equalities by applying axioms 1 and 2, applying the definition of division, and applying star. First of all, by definition of division, we know that a over b is equal to a times the reciprocal of b. c over d is equal to c times the reciprocal of d. And then applying axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around a times the reciprocal of b times c. And then applying axiom 2 again, we can move the inner parentheses around the reciprocal of b times c. And then applying axiom 1, we can swap reciprocal of b and c. And then applying axiom 2, we can move the inner parentheses around ac. And then applying axiom 2 again, we can move the outer parentheses around the reciprocal of b times the reciprocal of d. And then by star, we have that the reciprocal of b times the reciprocal of d is equal to the reciprocal of bd. And then, by the definition of division, ac times the reciprocal of bd is equal to ac over bd. And so, through this chain of equalities, we have established that a over b times c over d is equal to ac over bd. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.